Good morning and welcome back to this old boat. I'm Captain Steve and as always you can reach us at captain.andiamo at gmail.com for any comments and suggestions. Asking for your support as well. If you have sponsoring opportunities we would love to hear from you. And so without further ado, let's get on with some activities today. Hey, good morning. This is Captain Steve aboard the Andiamo and today's video is going to be the disassemble and reassemble of a Lexand uh, toilet or head system. Um, there's a couple errors on there as we made the video. Uh, one is that the intake and outtake uh, connections were installed uh, differently and uh, you need to just flip those around. Uh, the other one is I think I referred to uh, a, a positive connection as a negative connection but I think you get the general idea when you see the video. So I hope this helps in, in uh, working on your own system and cleaning out this important uh, and stinky um, uh, process that you have uh, in the Lexan uh, toilet system. So, have fun! This is what the system looks like as it's disassembled. You have three basic parts. You've got the components part, your processing part, and your tank. It's been cleaned, but what you see here are your grinding sections and most importantly your fins where the electricity will be passing through to uh, take care of the bacteria in your tank. These fin fins normally are clean with muritic acid um, to get rid of all the calcium buildup but in this particular unit we've already taken it apart and cleaned out probably nine pounds of calcium buildup, hair and a variety of other nasty things that were inside the unit. Um, so now it is uh, ready for reassemble. These motors for your units, you don't need to bother with them. Don't touch them, don't unscrew them, uh, leave them the way they are. There's nothing you need to mess with the motors. They're self-contained units and if you take these screws off uh, you're going to have problems. Uh, you're going to see later, I'm going to be putting a piece of tape across the, both of these that say do not touch. Uh, now this unit, this is your clean out unit that actually you can see it from the bottom. Um, it's where the, where the uh, material will flow from one chamber into the next and so that can be cleaned out um, periodically with, uh, with a vacuum um, shop vac just by unscrewing this piece here and, uh, and, and putting the shop vac on top and uh, getting any material that might be lodged in there out. Uh, next we're going to be putting some, uh, some petroleum jelly on our gasket and we're also going to put some petroleum jelly around the gasket and we're going to reattach these two pieces and, and reassemble the unit all together. As we reassemble it you'll see how you can also go backwards and take it apart. Alright I'm about to go ahead and put this down. I've gone ahead and put a petroleum jelly sealant around my gasket. I've also put four screws in the top that kind of holds that gasket in place and I've also gone ahead and put petroleum jelly across the top of the, the holding tank. You can see the position of it. You've got your intake on this side, your units, your motors on the top, and your outtake on the uh, left hand side. Um, these are going to be your terminal connections and your electronics are going to fit across this back part here. These terminal connections can get very corroded and as you can see we've got to clean these off a little bit before you notice we put f just the four bolts in that helps us guide in um, our gasket so we can get a nice tight seal and then we're going to be sealing up the entire unit in just a moment. I had and hooked up our electronics package. We've just attached the two bolts on the back to hold the panel in place here. And we've gone ahead and hooked up grinding pumps. This one has its negative feed going in to this front terminal always gives you a chance to check the uh, fuses make sure that they are in not corroded again both terminals are going to hook up to to your negative on this one pole here and then your other pump is going to be hooked to to this side right here right underneath that coupling so this one has to be tightened down a little bit more and then uh, we'll be able to put this all, wrap this up. Uh, you'll notice that down inside here we've gone ahead and greased up or put our petroleum jelly on the two connections that go into the processing unit and so all of our electricals are set. You want to remove this panel so that 
it doesn't get wet while you are cleaning out the whole system. Um, again, just remember where the connections go. Real simple. Both of your negatives are hooked up to one pole here, and then your positives for your left hand side or port side pump grinder are hooked up on this terminal, and then the starboard side or right hand side pump are hooked up on this terminal here. So all the other terminal connections you don't really have to mess with and just leave them alone. The bolts in the back are what keep it all together. We're about to reattach the top part here. We've gone ahead and inserted the four screws on our side and also two in the back here that we'll go ahead and tighten up. There's a nut that I've already placed on the bottom. I'll turn it over for you so you can see that. These nuts will go all the way around and that seal is going to be important. The uh, smell sometimes can be pretty bad from these Lexans, so you need to go ahead and make sure that you're sealing this up and making sure they're tight. So I'm going to go ahead and do that by taking a pair of needle nose pliers, holding it, and using a drill with a socket to uh, pull the bolt, bolt in. Okay, there's our stopper with the Teflon tape wrapped around. We're going to go ahead and hand tighten that into the unit and then we'll use our um, adjustable pliers to give that the final twist and make sure that we have it all nice and secure. Next I'm going to be opening up the um, top valve over here or you could just pour it down the intake as well. Some muriatic acid with some water to give the final cleaning on those blades while I prepare everything downstairs. I said we are all set to go. You'll notice that we've put tape across the stuff. It says do not touch. Again, don't touch those screws because that's going to mess up your motors. So don't touch the screws. This goes, we'll put a housing over this once it's completely installed. But that's what the finished product looks after it has been cleaned. And we have our return compartment. This is where the Lexus sand will, will sit. Um, they say you cannot paint away stink, but um, we are going to go ahead and give everything a coat of Rust-Oleum paint and, uh, and I think that anytime that you open up a compartment on a boat it's a good idea while you've got it open to, uh, to paint next to the hull and around um, just to seal up any areas that uh, may have issues. So that's what we're going to do next. We are at the install. Our Lexus sand is ready to go in. We're going to be putting this cover over top this section here. Again, these have been marked so nobody will mess with them later in life. Alright, outflow, intake. You can see down here where there's been a little raised shelf added to uh, the platform um, so the unit will have a, an outflow from the top and an intake from the bottom as the hoses come in from this side. Uh, this, this space here is normally uh, filled with sh uh, cabinets, uh, but they've been they've been removed for this operation, and so we will next while well, this the paint is drying in here, uh, it's already dried over here. So we will go ahead and and lay the unit down into its position, and go ahead and start uh, installing it with the hoses and cabling. All right, we've got the bottom hose clamp attached to the outtake. Um, we're going to be attaching the next one um, to the intake. Again, like most marine applications, you're going to be wanting to use two clamps on every joint. Um, I normally take a little petroleum jelly also, put it on the end just so the hose slides on easier. And uh, that makes the assembly a little bit quicker. Okay, we have our hoses attached. Outflow, you'll notice it has the U-bend in there and headed out through our, we're going to go ahead and pressure test everything now. We're going to open up the through valve. And now we're going to be pumping salt water from the toilet into, um, into the Lexus sand, filling it up and then operating it and seeing if we have everything ready to go. Okay, we've tested the system, uh, pumping about three or four gallons of, of seawater through it. Um, found no leaks as we did so. That's a good thing. 
um, we went ahead and turned the circuit breaker on which is here in the front of this particular unit and went ahead and uh, ran it again there was no waste in the system so it only had a low treatment uh, reading and uh, that's probably the way it should be the important thing is the smell is much better so uh, that's a plus for this unit so again make sure you keep your Lexus hands clean use that muriatic acid every three months clean off those plates and every year you should probably disassemble it like we've done here today and um, clean out those tubes or replace them um, all the hosing again was cleaned as we did this as well um, so that uh, it, it, it got all the material that was left over inside out and, uh, and there we go